Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I'm sure by now you've all heard about the gun control that was in the $1.7 trillion omnibus bill. This bill passed with the help of 18 Republicans. But what gun control was actually in it? Well, we'll talk about that today, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the earmarks first because there's nearly $11 million just in earmarks going to anti-2A groups. Now, thanks to the GOA, I have an image that I'll put up on the screen right here so you guys can take a look at this and see kind of where that $11 million is gonna be divvied up. You'll notice that there's not any money going to any pro-Constitution, pro-Freedom, or pro-Second Amendment groups. What we have here is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars being divvied up between these you know, different gun violence prevention programs like $4.6 million to the Hampton Gun Violence Intervention Program. Basically what all of these are, are groups that just pretty much sit around and think of new ways to impose new restrictions on Second Amendment rights. That's what they do. And they lobby. There's a pretty good chance that this, a lot of this money could eventually go back into Congress because they use it for lobbying. And that's, that's what these groups do. Now on top of the nearly $11 million that's going to these groups, you're gonna see nearly $2 billion in additional funding that's gonna be going to the ATF, including $14 million that's gonna be used to upgrade and modernize their system. So that registry is gonna get modernized, it's going to be computerized and searchable and so forth, plus nearly $2 billion. Why would the ATF need nearly two additional billion dollars in funding. Well, we know that the brace ban is gonna be coming up. That's a pretty big new rule that's gonna have a huge effect on probably millions of law-abiding American citizens. And it's gonna take a lot of money to turn law-abiding people into felons overnight. So more than likely, that's gonna be going towards that type of thing. There's probably gonna be new offices, new paperwork, there's gonna be you know new agents, new hires, stuff like that, that are all gonna go out and try and enforce these unconstitutional new rules that they come out with. It's, it's incredible that they can come out with these things that they call a rule when it really is just, it's a new law and the ATF is not allowed to create law, only Congress is. But hey, they need the additional $2 billion in funding. The FBI is gonna get more funding as well. So while the entire nation is struggling with inflation, high gas prices, ridiculously high food prices, trust me, I just went grocery shopping the other day and almost passed out. It is really expensive. But while the nation's dealing with all that, what are we spending our money on? More enforcement. That's what we're spending our money on. So again, you can see what the what, what's going on here. Their, their priorities are completely off base. They are basically just going after the law abiding here and trying to make it seem like they're doing something good. In reality, we know exactly what they're doing. They're just trying to infringe on our constitutional rights. And I wanted to make you guys aware of at least some of the stuff that was in this bill that will have an effect on us in the future. So I wanna thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. You guys have a great day.